Hello my lovely fragrance buddies. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I hope you like what I have in store for you today. I'm super excited because today I'll be teaching you how to make swirl molten pour soap. I love soap swirls, but I'm not always up to making a batch of cold process to achieve them. So here's a quick and easy way to get the same effect with melt and pour soap. I'm going to be using a simple white shea butter soap base today. It'll give me a pretty pastel pink and white swirl effect. So start by melting down about half of your base in a microwave or a double boiler, but be careful not to let it scorch or burn, so give it a stir every 30 seconds or so. I'll be right back when it's melted. While that's melting, get the other half of your soap base measured out and ready to go. We'll need to work pretty quickly to get some nice swirls. My soap is nice and liquidy now, so I'm going to go ahead and add our fragrance. One of my favorite romantic fragrances we carry is Sweet Temptation. You're going to be adding in your fragrance at a 3% concentration today. Work quickly and stir it in right before pouring the melted soap into your silicone molds. Mine are shaped like hearts, and I think that's just perfect, right? Grab the other half of soap you got ready earlier and melt it just like you did before. When it's liquid, add in the rest of the fragrance along with a couple of drops of pink liquid soap dye. Stir it until the color is nice and even. Okay, so how about those swirls? Check on your first layer that you poured. You should be able to press a tiny dent into it, but you want the surface to be solid, but everything else underneath to be melted. While the pink soap is still hot from the microwave, hold the measuring cup high and pour over the white soap in the molds. The heat from the poured soap should break through the white layer without fully mixing in with it. Grab a small spoon and mix around both colors of soaps in the mold. Try not to mix too much or you'll muddle both the colors together. And there you go, you can already see some of those pretty swirls. Finish it off with a spritz of rubbing alcohol to pop any bubbles, and now you just gotta be patient and let them cool. Even if they're solid on top, they may still be liquid underneath, so check to see if they're cool to the touch on the sides of the mold. It should only take a couple of hours for them to harden, and when they're done, ta-da! Just look at all these swirls. They're just as pretty as cold processed soaps without all the trouble of working with lye. These make for great Valentine's Day gifts or just a treat to pamper yourself with. Our Sweet Temptation fragrance is the cherry on top. They smell just as good as they look. I'm going to package them up now and add a cute little label so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the Fragrance Buddy channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll know when I post. Until then, I'm Bree and stay scented my friends.